Hello and welcome to my little corner of the world I call home. Good morning, Cherub. Good morning, Heather. Today I'm living my influencer life. I got a few questions about you guys to do day in the life vlogs, both short form and long form. And every day is very different. So today is a little influencer day. Most of my time I spend at home, bumming it. Literally me on a Monday, exhibit A. <laughs> Dirty hair, stained sweats, and every so often, lately it's been about once a week, I come to LA, I go to events, I network, I network, and today is one of those really cool influencer days where I get to go to gifting suites. So companies have specific stores that look like storefronts full of clothes in different sizes, different styles, and it's literally just to have influencers come out and pick stuff up. Kind of crazy. And today I'm going to two. I'm going to Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing, which are on Melrose. So I'm going to have a little Melrose day. I'm going to check out some thrift stores, some coffee shops, and of course, check out the brand. Yeah, I'm really excited. Let's get the day started. Okay, we just landed in LA. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I packed a little bag of jeans for later and an energy drink for my drive home and shoes to change into. Girl, my car is a hot mess because every time I come to LA, I come with like two outfits, a pair of flat shoes, a pair of high heels, and it's just a whole shindig but putting on the boot so we can walk into the store with style to size we have to give them the full fantasy guys i'm so nervous i'm like do you see me shaking wait this is me trying to stay still and i didn't even have well maybe that's pretty still actually i feel like i'm vibrating and not in a fun and funky fresh way you know what i'm saying i'm scared I'm trying to like shift my this feeling from being scared to like oh I feel shaky because I'm so excited like oh my stomach is turning because I'm just so excited you know Cause that's that's what you gotta do oh one of the best things I have is like a hairbrush in my car so that I can always like walk out with freshly combed hair fun fact when I was in high school like when I was younger I just wouldn't brush my hair and so it looked nice but then I'd always have like a rat's tail in the back so embarrassing and now I'm like I have to brush my hair before I step out of the car otherwise it's an absolute no-go but yay I'm so excited hopefully I smell good and I'm not sweating oh my god I'm nervy Let's do this. I'm excited. They're excited. We're gonna be besties. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so excited. Woo! Me hyping myself up. Okay, they have so much stuff here. Look how cute is this little top? We've got swim. It's like a little. This is literally like a dream come true. We're gonna get a pile going. Okay, this is like fully my vibe because you guys know I'm a blazer bitch. To the day I die. Ooh, the cozies. You guys know my favorite cozy set is from them i wear it all the time it's just so cute oh my god A little work from home look this is sick love 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 Skirt can be a little smaller. This top might be a little smaller. 
I hope I'm recording here. Am I? Okay, that went so well. Kira helped me out and she was so sweet. And it was so cute in there. There was another girl in there. It was just so fun. Now I'm just walking to coffee before my next appointment here. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. Actually, you know what? I think the only place here is Earth. And unfortunately there is a usually long line. Earth, we'll see, we'll see. don't know that I'm supposed to be here. Feels like sneaking behind a work only. We definitely have some some things to look through. How freaking cute is it in here? I love the sink. Jerseys, big trend, we love. Um, I don't even know what the LA football team, USC, no, that's literally college. What am I doing? Mm. The LA Chargers, yeah, okay, so. Maybe I shouldn't get this because I will get disowned. It's also too big. It's giving choir singer, you know? <laughs> It'd be cute though, like if the sleeves were not as big. This dress is so darling with the like frary print. I don't know what this is called. It's like China. I've never had this problem before. How cute is this dress though? I think I could probably handle one size down. Maybe a couple. Let's see. What the girlies say. Are you kidding? This is literally the perfect tank top. The cut, the bottom, is perfect for low waisted things. And the little bows. Oh my god. It's like getting Snatcherella. This is definitely one of those pieces that I would grab for a lot. And it's, the material is not like a soft knit cotton. Um, it has a little bit more structure, so I'd be like, this could be dressed up. How do we feel about these jeans? I love the dark wash. I actually don't really have a ton of low waisted dark wash pants. What do we think? What do we think? I'll ask the girly is on the Instagram. Love the fit of this dress, but I just don't think I wear little back dresses enough to get another one. Also, lol. <laughs> Okay, this one's really cute because it could go, you know, a little bit more. It could go pretty formal. It could go a little saucy. Cute. I feel like this in the summer with some kitten heels would be so cute. Okay, just finished off at Boohoo and obviously Pretty Little Thing and now... I'm gonna change into like more casual attire and I'm going to do a little thrifting around here because Melrose has the best thrift stores and I packed jeans as you guys saw but I might just well these are kind of long but I might just put these on they're so cute um, and I have sneakers in the car okay Gotta take the boots off. Whew.
Let me just grab a little seat over here. Okay, I found a little corner for my soda. I got the Glossier Lotte Cirque. So cute, it came in blue. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I love it. Good, kind of milky. One thing I love about here is like everyone is on their grind. Everyone's trying to snap the pics, and nobody looks at me funny for popping out a trick. So cute. I'm going to maybe film or shoot another shot somewhere else. And then we can go to Ripty. Smells so good in here. Get okay, bad news guys. Ugh. I didn't realize that I can't park here. I didn't see any red lining on the side, so I was like sick, let me park. I got a ticket so that's wonderful one reason I do hate um, <laughs> I do hate LA is because the parking is insane it's so hard to find parking so sorry the AC is really loud probably okay I got a door I love this little house look at it, it it's probably like a, a townhouse or something but it's like a light pink it's got like Subtle Spanish detailing, a little bench on the outside. Okay, I'm gonna, for next stop is Goodwill. Oh, um, I do need to figure out when I should leave here so that I can not stick in too much traffic, but I'll figure it out when we go there. Okay, the houses here in LA are so cute in this area, like Melrose area. Um, what the fuck? Oh, my angel, my little angel fell off. Uh, if you follow me on stories, you would have seen I found this little angel Please focus At the thrift store Unfortunately, this little angel didn't keep me from getting a parking ticket But it's fine I'm gonna wear my little angel Honestly La sangre de Cristo me protege Siempre Diosito me ama y yo lo amo That's my Spanish of the day, queen I'm having a great time I've literally just had coffee and shopped. Literally my dreams. What the fuck? Look at these platforms. These are so cute.
two and a half liters, two and a half hours later. I finally made it home. I changed into my little workout outfit. Eating a quick snack and getting a workout. Um, it's at 6.15 and it's currently 5.50. So I'm literally gonna put my sneakers on top and go. Um, I'll catch up with you guys after. I'll catch up with you guys after my workout. It's been some time later. Uh, that night I came back and I started feeling sick and I got sick. And today's the first day I'm feeling really good. So I'm gonna do a little haul of everything that I got from the gifting suites and what I thrifted. So yeah, and then I'm gonna wash them. All right, first, a pretty little thing. I think I vaguely showed you guys this, but I didn't end up trying it on because it was kind of like a little last minute thing. I decided that little really cute skirt set with the top was just not a good move for me because the four was too small, the six was too big. I ideally needed like a five and they obviously don't make half sizes. I ended up going with these little cozy pants you guys know my favorite cozies at home is this set from pretty little thing i have it in two colors i love this like little cozy material and this one is perfection for like little coffee runs or just working from home i got the matching little top it's a little short sleeve tee i also figured that this would be cute wearing it with like skirts and stuff it has a slight open back so it's still cozy and then you guys saw this amazing suit set i need to wash and steam it so that it can look really really put together but i love 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 it's like a gray warmy taupe and these trousers i'm gonna need them to make more colors of these because they fit per they fit perfectly they're low-waisted they snatch the booty but they're still like straight leg but flattering lastly i asked you guys about this dress but the dress was just too big and they didn't have my size in store my girly hooked it up with this top that is just like a similar vibe and i think this would be really cute one at, oh it's inside out <laughs> one at coachella two at the vac at a vacation looks amazing on the girlies and i love this olive color with like my orangey red hair it's just very complimentary so i had to snag that i'll try to link everything i show at boohoo you guys saw i got these jeans they're the perfect like kind of dark wash acidy finish with a little asymmetrical waist super cute i got the perfect black tank top this you guys need to have if you're a little bit more like minimal girly I feel like this is an essential. It's the best fitting little cami and it has little bows. So, so cute. I ended up getting this top because I love that tank top so much. And this is a same, the same material. It does have deodorant stains on it, but it has this cutie little bow. And again, I just am loving like blues and greens because they contrast the hair really nicely. So... I picked this girly up. And lastly, you guys saw me try on this white tube dress. Like it's a, obviously a, a cherry on the top. It's a perk and it's not why I do my job, but it's just cool. It's just cool. And I love that I can bring you guys along. Oh, next, you guys already saw me try this dress on. It's actually from Cider, new with tags. And I used to have a dress like kind of like this in middle school that I got from Urban Outfitters, but it was dark dark purple and i feel like this gives me the same vibes i love the bell sleeves and the silhouette it just i don't know if it's it's a small but it's just not super fitting so this is something that i am willing to like work on love it i also think i want to add like some structure in the chest area because it's very flat but i think my best score of the day thrifting is this vintage dress i'm gonna get this dry clean because it is so absolutely beautiful look at the straps with these little floral appliques it is this most stunning do you see the glitter the little swarovskis on there a uh, gorgeous little gingham a-line dress and i just got sent some dresses from house of cb and they are all like this vibe um and it's just like the most beautiful confidence boosting like 
I just feel like a princess in these dresses so I had to pick it up barely fits so very grateful for that and it's just like this looks like someone made made it like someone made this not a factory look at the tag it's like very much vintage I got it for $28 which normally I'm not gonna pay that as a first thrift store but this obviously is like quality vintage it has a stain but I'm gonna take it to the dry cleaners and if they can't get it off I'm just gonna like transplant one of these little floral appliques onto the stains to kind of cover it up I figured that would be like a clever way to disguise it as you can tell I love gingham I actually have this gingham dress that I thrifted on my birthday and look at this like it's almost the exact same this is from moda international which is a vintage brand but i found this skirt and i figured the skirt is fun because you can mix and match more than a dress and this is also something i believe is vintage not that vintage obviously but super cute obviously you already know me i'm gonna crop it and make it smaller shorter minier skirt should be like a belt okay that those items were from crossroads then from out of the closet i found this stunning this has got to be vintage it's like a shawl but it has a butterfly on it and butterfly tops are very trendy y2k but i feel like this is something different that you can layer on top of it and i remember i followed this girl named julia havens and one of the first vlogs i watched from her was her vegas vlog and she had a little shawl like this over a white bralette and it was so cute so i think i'm gonna try to recreate something like that this was only five dollars because i get it like not everyone has the vision but i have the vision also figured like if worse comes to worse i can just do a little chain and wear it like a halter i feel like there's multiple options but i love the butterfly also in my butterfly year era glow up season so i love that this cardigan some other guy was trying on and i was like oh my god that's stunning you need to get it and he was like oh, it's a little short for my arms but you should try it i was like no because i will buy it if you don't and i tried it on everyone in the store was like oh yes like serve um so i got it it is this chunky little knit and once i wash it and put fabric softener in it i just feel like it's gonna be the coziest little cardigan do i have other knit cardigans yes but nothing like a little you know like a Thea vibe or in movies I don't know when <laughs> you get the vibe it's just like cozy and the end of the closet must have some affiliation with a brand I think it's just playboy brand because I found so many playboy things like some of them were cute, some of them were just like cheesy, but this is one of the items. First items I found is this plaid, like it's giving Von Dutch vibes, but it's Playboy. And it's just this baby pink, which you guys know I'm loving pink. I love pink all the time. Um, and I don't have any pink bags. It comes with this strap, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. And it's literally, oh, it's a sample, which means there's literally nothing for sale that's like this from this brand very cool i love this um yeah those were my finds thank you guys for spending the day with me i hope you had as much fun as i did again i feel so blessed and grateful that like that was a work day in my life i did that as part of my work week like kind of crazy um i appreciate you guys don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok Follow the podcast on the podcast YouTube channel and the podcast Instagram. And of course, subscribe to the podcast. And I will see you guys. I don't know if I will see you next week. I want to do like three out of four weeks because to not burn out, I think I just need to pace myself and do three out of four weeks a month. That way I can prep and plan and recover. Anyways, okay. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. I always do that. I say I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Okay. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.